Welcome to Chris Parkin Shooting Sports. This is a CZ457 American in 17 HMR. This is a beach stock sporting rifle, five shot magazine, and it's available in 22LR and 22WMR as well. Overall length is 980 millimeters or 38.5 inches. The barrel length is 510 millimeters or 20 inches and it's 14 millimeters in diameter. It's screw cut half inch by 20 at the muzzle for a moderator or brake. The barrel is cold hammer forged. Overall weight is three kilograms or 6.6 .6 pounds. This rifle is fully compatible with CZ switch barrel capability so you could easily have a 22WMR or 22LR barrel as well. This is a 17 HMR which has a 1 in 9 inch twist rate barrel. The standard supplied magazine is 5 rounds and a 10 rounder is also available. Pretty good for elevation there at 139 meters just losing a few a little bit in the wind drift but i'm quite happy with that overall The barrel is fully free floating and the forend is stiff so you don't get any intermittent harmonic issues. There's a stud on the underside of the forend for bipod or sling. Standard dovetail allows easy scope mounting and you can swap over between day optics and night optics as you see here. Magazine change is super simple with a lever underneath. Magazines pop out. This is a five round polymer magazine supplied but you can also get ten round magazines. If you swap to a different calibre you then change magazines as well. Bolt operation is fast and slick and it's got two position safety catch which doesn't lock the bolt handle but does block the trigger mechanism. There's a cocked action indicator on the back here too. The trigger is adjustable and was crisp from the factory but it can be adjusted throughout the life of the rifle to compensate for any wear and tear. As supplied, the trigger weight was one pound 7.3 ounces which is 650 grams. The left side release catch allows easy removal of the bolt and the bolt features CZ's characteristic flat top firing pin to avoid any damage from dry firing. This strikes the back of the barrel which stops the firing pin itself striking the edge of the chamber and damaging it long term. There are twin extractor claws here. 
Twin extractor closed and manual ejector ensure positive ejection at all bolt speeds. Length of pulleys is generous, 360 millimetres or 14.2 inches, makes a comfortable fit. The recoil pad is also gripping the shoulder, but yet doesn't snag on clothing when you mount the gun. The checkering isn't super sharp, but it does give good tactile perception of handhold on the gun. It's a sealed stock finish, so it's impervious to weather and atmospheric changes. Simple to remove the magazine from the gun, there's just a catch at the front, and it holds five rounds in a single column, easy to load, carry spares, and it clicks in and out quite quickly and simply. Manual ejection is reliable at any bolt speed, and here, done deliberately slowly, we'll show you just how effective it is. Of course, done faster, it's ultra reliable. The beach stock is stiff, and you can clamp it in and out of a tripod like this without any fear of intermittent barrel contact or point of impact change. I've used most of CSA rifles. I like them all for pretty much what they're designed and intended to do. I like the bigger, heavier ones for shooting precision long range. I like the more intermediate ones like the MDT for shooting tactical style precision rifle shoots. But I love this one, just like the synthetic for actual hunting requirements. The difference in price between this and the synthetic is literally a few pounds. They're both around the 550 pound mark. In terms of accuracy, there's no difference between them. Both of them have got particularly reliable stocks. They're very nice handling. And although this is a longer 20 inch barrel and people say, oh, why do you want a long barrel? I said, well, actually a long barrel might not be the same problem that some bulky, big, heavy stocks are, especially when they're all tactical and precision with lots of sharp corners and edges that snag on jumpers, jackets, and coats. Whereas on a sporting rifle like this, you can point it quickly, easily, it slides up your chest, it goes straight into your shoulder, and the actual accuracy and precision of it is super reliable in a hunting situation. I like the fact it's screw cut for a moderator, you can add a bipod on a sling, it's stable and secure, the forend is stiff so there's no intermittent barrel contact issues, you can put it in a set of tripod sticks, you can clamp the forend, it doesn't squeeze, it doesn't change point of impact, there's no problem there. The magazine system is ultra reliable, you can get five and ten rounders for it, it comes with a five, and of course if you want to swap to one of these other barrels, you can swap calibers as well, so you can have a 22LR and a 22WMR on exactly the same rifle. Bolt cycling is fast and reliable. The rounds feed straight to the chamber. The delicate 17 HMR rounds have gone clean into the chamber. Not one has actually struck the back of the breech and pushed the bullet inside the case, which is a particular problem with the 17 HMR round. But this rifle, no problems with that at all. Firing pin has been fine. You've got no problems with light strikes. Every single one is shot fine. I've used four types of ammunition through it, mostly Hornady. Safety catch, no problems. It's quiet. You can put it on, take it off without any clicks or noise like that. The cock action indicator on the back of the bolt is tactile, so you always know what situation the gun is in. And of course, the gun is incredibly fast to mount and shoot and versatile, either handed from any shooting position. Well, I hope you enjoyed that review. Please like, subscribe, comment. Don't forget to click the notification bell to make sure you keep track of my regular weekly uploads. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.